This is How to Tuba. I am Ben Ordaz, and today I'll be playing Bordoni number 13. I'll be working in octaves and with recording techniques. I will be working this section to perfection in four major steps. Step one, I'll be playing this section one octave down while at the same time recording it. Every tuba player should master playing in the low register. This is for a variety of reasons, and one of them being it will affect positively every other register of the horn. You will see that a majority of this video is concerned with playing in this low register. Recording, whether it's a performance or a practice session, is easier than ever. I am using the recording function on my Tonal Energy app. It's absolutely vital that when you make a recording of yourself, especially in your practice, that you listen back more than once, at least twice. Many times I catch the most important details and the things to fix that are the most crucial in the second time I listen back to my performance. As you are critiquing yourself, you want to always keep in mind the three rules. These are three principles that should guide all of your playing. You want to keep everything in time, in tune, and highly musical. This is a principle that was given to me by the late, great Sam Palafian, and it absolutely holds true no matter what situation I have to play my instruments in. As I return to my instrument, I'm going to break down the previous section so that I can fix these issues. And I'm also going to relate these issues back to the three rules. I notice the harsh articulation, which affects musicality, rule number three. Also, an inconsistent intonation, rule number two. And, as you heard, an inaccurate ending, which had a lot to do with the time and rhythm. So, rule number one. As you heard, I first addressed the inaccurate ending and tried to keep it in time. For the harsh articulation that I'm trying to work on now, I'm applying breath attacks. In this way, I'm just trying to start the notes with my buzzing lips without the aid of the tongue. Improvement is always a difficult thing, but eventually 
after some very focused practice using the aid of recordings and several other techniques, I have arrived at a much better performance of this section down one octave. I'm now leaving the low register and returning to the original octave of the piece. What I'm making sure to do now, though, is to apply that same recording technique to the written octave because the translation of every element of playing from the low register to the middle register or the written register of the music is not going to be the same. Mm-hmm. 